Welcome to KSL Outdoors and welcome to the Dalles. The Dalles, you say? Yeah, we're here along the Columbia River. We're headed out with a guy named Daryl Axtell who uh, invited us to come out sturgeon fishing. And so we decided to give a trip away for two people to come with us. And boy, are they glad they did. Yeah, here he comes. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was awesome. Sturgeon are big and powerful. It's a bucket list fish for many anglers, including the winners of our sturgeon giveaway. Just like a big old anchor. Father and son, Ty and Anthony Swenson. Oh yeah, we went out fishing all the time. Uh, whether it was a uh, grandpa or uncles or you know, dad and brother, we we're always out fishing somewhere. Yeah. Never caught anything like this though. I'm glad he called. <laughs> <laughs> he called me. <laughs> yeah, he had a lot of options, but he just picked you. Yeah, up. he did. Okay, we have a net right here. If one of you will grab that or have it ready. We're fishing with Daryl Axtell, a lifelong Utah who in his mid 40s decided to pursue his dream of becoming a fishing guide. So he sold everything he owned, got a boat, his captain license, moved to Oregon and became a fishing guide on the Columbia River. I figured if I tried it and I failed and I gave it my all, I could live with that. If I didn't, I think I might have regrets, and I didn't want to have any regrets, so I gave it a shot. Sturgeon candy right there. Nice. Hey, first fish of the trip. <laughs> to catch sturgeon, we must first net the bait. The American shad will occasionally spill over the Dalles Dam, get disoriented, die, and fishermen and seagulls alike scoop them up. Yeah, it's one of the natural foods for the sturgeon. Seven, over 7.4 million have come over the Bonneville Dam to spawn in here so far this year. Those are, uh, those are big fish, I mean, for bait. Really big. Yeah. <laughs> big bait, big fish. We landed a 12 and a half footer in the last year. It's the biggest one we've landed so far. There's some bigger than that out here. You want it laying flat on the bottom. Just a few half inches on here like this. Help it lay down right, and then when you hook up, cuts right through it and sets that hook. Daryl hog ties the shad and uses a two pound weight to keep the bait on the bottom. To hit the bottom, then we'll bounce it back to about 250 feet. Uh, what's an average day for you for a client that comes out with you? Kind of describe what happens. I show them everything, and I teach them how to do it themselves if they want to do it, or I do as much of it as they need. You know, from helping them reel it in, set the hook. Give him the onion. When are you going to get him? <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> yeah, he's there. Oh, yeah. I guarantee a six-footer or better if we have at least four people on the boat. You can take up to six in the same group. I don't schedule more than four. Yeah. Sorry it took so long today, guys. Oh, kind, kind of spoiled you yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> 175 gets you a seat out on the boat. It's pretty reasonable. Very reasonable. Yes. I've paid a lot more and gotten a lot less. You're doing good. Getting tension on it. Well, you do. Just not want to leave the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I had him at 91. <laughs> like a big fish now, isn't he? Yeah. Until he shows you he's in charge, you don't know how big it is. Yeah. And even then, you still don't know the difference between an 8 or a 12 footer at first. Pretty neat. It's heavy. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of power under there. If you're fighting a fish that probably weighs more than you do. Yep. Feels like it. <laughs> Could be older than you, too. He is older than you. I wish he'd come up and jump. Thinking about it. Yeah, there he comes. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> that was awesome. That's cool. That's a big fish. Oh. And he's diving. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're getting serious now. And he's just showing you he's in charge right now. <laughs> that rod band. <laughs> this thing's working me out more than I'm working it out. He's under the boat. He's on the other side of the boat. He's gonna jump. What do you want me to do? Keep the line. Oh, I see him. He's right here. He's a big fish. He's on the wrong side, fish. Keep pulling, buddy. Oh, man, he's a big Keep fish. Keep pulling. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's on the boat. Dirty bugger. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was a fight and a half. That guy worked me over for an hour, 10 minutes. This fish has already jumped once for us. Came out of the water, gave us quite the show. I can see him. There he is. Oh my gosh, look at that fish. Holy crap. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, fish. Oh my gosh. Wow. Good job. Woo. That's close to 10. Holy crap, that's a big fish. At 9-4. 9-4, huh? Damn. That is a giant. I've never seen one that fat. Look at that. Look how big that is, everybody. That is amazing. Okay, he's going. Okay. <laughs> you got the camera with. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Good job. Nice. Nice. It's like getting 50 pound barbells and curling for an hour. It's just, <laughs> it's unrelenting and it, it kills your forearms, your biceps, everything hurts. They've been around 200 million years. They, they survived and the dinosaurs didn't. Um, just very strong. There's all sizes from little ones, clear up to, we've landed 12 and a half footers. Bear down on it. He's just tasting it right now. It's a pretty neat experience. It's right here. 10 hours away from Salt Lake. There you go. Oh yeah, he's got it. Oh. Right. Let go. Woo. Let go of it. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Where's that fighting belt? I mean, it's just strong. You have to wear them out. You'll bend a 10-aught hook or break the line. You don't force them in. You wear them out before, hopefully before they wear you out, or you, you trade off, you know, it's okay to trade off. How far out? 350. 350? Yeah, all fun and games, Ty, until it's your turn, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's so funny now, they're funny guys. Sometimes you last five minutes. <laughs> Some people last four hours. Hold the rod! Right. <laughs> oh. Deep color. There he is. Nice. Good looking fish. I don't know if he's bigger than the other ones, but yeah, he is. He looks heavier. About 7 11. Yeah, yeah, he's a good fish. Fat. Big. Big. <laughs> oh, he's going for it. I like it. One of the perks of catching a sturgeon with Daryl is the option to swim with your fish. You only live once. We do get in with them if the conditions are good. Um, put a rope around you and a life vest on and secure you to the boat. <laughs> so that's the last step. There's only two, right? So grab this rope up here. There you go, that'll be your lifeline. <laughs> there you go, grab the tail. And get in, take some good pictures. That's kind of a unique experience for a lot of people, I think. Not a lot of people get to do that. Uh, swim with a fish that's twice the size of you, that's pretty neat. Yeah. There he goes. No! <laughs> he kissed me! <laughs> oh. That's awesome. Oh, it's awesome. They look really ugly, but man, they are a beautiful fish. Right? Yeah. They're they, so ugly, they're beautiful. Yeah, yeah, they are. It's just massive. Oh. It's just incredible how big and strong they are. Yeah. That's, I'm winded. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Thank you. Oh, Thanks. Good job. Fun. Yeah. That's awesome. Fun stuff. June, July, and August, it's crazy good out here. The fresh shad are here, and it's crazy good. And the rest of the year, I average two to four a day, um, which is still great. It tires most people out after two, let alone four. There you go. There you go, oh yeah. There you go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he's running. Oh, he's running. <laughs> Big. We're 500. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stout fish. I enjoy this. This is, 
I haven't had a day of work out here. It isn't easy, but it isn't work. I mean, I just love being on the water. Glad it's him, not us, right? <laughs> being out here, meeting all the new people. It's it just great getting people on the biggest fish of their life. I mean, it's bucket list stuff I do for people, and they just love it out here. And I love being a part of that. We're at 11. Here we come. Scholar. Oh my gosh, there he is. There's bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> Hasn't gotten old. And not yet. I hope it never does, but not yet. I, I love it. Pretty fish. About an eight footer. They're getting bigger. <laughs> Swimming with the fishes. That's old. <laughs> Try and get it hold of his tail. Just the back part. Right there. Eight feet, three inches. Eight three. I win. <laughs> Push. We go back and forward. One motion. Look at that. Beautiful. Straight down again. What do you think of that, that was huh? awesome. That's a big fish. He's swimming with uh, <laughs> dinosaurs, huh? Heck yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, here he comes. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a big fish. He's a little sore. It's going to be all right. <laughs> so my biggest fish is off the Snake River with my buddy Dan Carrico, seven footer. Think we can beat that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pretty confident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, we're coming back next week, and if uh, you want to check it out in the meantime, the website? Outcatching.com. It's not fishing, it's out catching. That's right. It's bold. We catch big monster sturgeon out here. Good deal. Thanks, sir. Thank you. We got a couple more days. I'm excited. Yeah, it'll be fun. All right. Hey, we'll have more from uh, the Columbia River and outcatching.com with our buddy Daryl Axtell next week. We hope to see you then. I'm Adam Eco, KSL Outdoors. Remind you to get with your family, your friends, and make some memories. Catching big old sturgeon outdoors. We'll see you next week. Good night.